Okay, so let's take a look at our first application in our studio. So let's bring up our studio. We've already installed it. So here we go with our studio. Okay, so the first thing, let's take a look at loading a file. So here, let's do choose files. And I've got a couple of files here. Let's see, I'm going to choose the uh, climate four file here, comma separated variable. Okay, so open. So, <clears throat> Here as well, we can uh, import a data set that's from a local file. So here, let's uh, take a look. Um, if I go to my Google and, oops, sorry. If I need to go import data set from a local file and it's in my Google Drive here lesson nine on R. Okay, I can import it that way as well. It shows me what the data import. Okay, so I imported the file and it happens to be called, uh, you'll see here, there's some um, error messages, incomplete line, etc. But it automatically viewed climate four and so it showed us here what Climate 4 looks like. And we can see that there's headings of date, GISS, HAD, NOAA, RSS, UAH. So that was pretty easy, loading the file. Let's take a look at how we address this. So it turns out that it just took the name of the file. So Climate 4 is this data table. Now we can look at, because of these headings that are there, we can look at, for example, the date by going dollar, and you see here it shows us date GIS, so we can choose that. So why don't we, since we want the dates to be our x, let's put x equal to climate four dollar date. Okay. So now we'll see here we have, here's x, they're integers, and it goes from 1 to 1574. Now let's do y equals climate 4 dollar, and let's plot uh, the GISS. So now we've got those, and we can do plot x against y, and we get a very nice scatter plot here. Now, we'll go back and look at these because the dates uh, look like they're actually, I happen to know it's year and then month, but um, these are not very pretty and we'd like to maybe uh, look those, make those look a little uh, prettier. Um, so, Let's come back to that in the next uh, video.